One of the most common issues uh, found on otherwise well-maintained bikes is the phantom noise, the click or crunch or creak that can develop on an otherwise well-tuned bike. You know, they can come out of nowhere. You put the bike away one day and it's fine. You take it out the next day and it's making a noise. Being able to chase those noises out of the bike uh, is a little bit of an art form. Uh, it is too easy sometimes to head straight to the major bearings, the bottom bracket, the headset, the hubs. Bearing in mind those are very deep inside the bike. Best thing to do is uh, start at one end of the bike and work forward. What we've got here, we'll start at the uh, back of the bike here. One of the, uh, not that it makes a huge amount of noise, but you can quite often find that they're loose. It's derailleur mount bolts, it's a five mil. Similarly, it's the derailleur hanger bolt, as you can see. This is a relatively new bike, and that one hasn't been looked at since we've had it, so that's been tweaked up. Again, you can make just a small amount of noise, you'd be surprised. Chainring bolts, is another one worth checking. Generally speaking, these should be nice and tight. Yep, yeah, that's good. Yep, yeah, that's good. Yeah, there you go, there's a, there's a bit on there. Again, make sure that's nice and tight. So again, there's another real prime candidate for, for making a noise. Um, again, you can find that that's often intermittent. You might find that that makes no noise when seated, pedaling seated, but makes loads of noise when you're standing or vice versa. You may also find that that only makes a noise when you're trying to shift the chain and flex the chain rings a little bit. Um, it's those intermittent noises sometimes which are the, almost the hardest to, uh, to figure out. Pedals, also worth a check. First of all, are they tight in the crank arms? So you'll need to check that with a pedal spanner. It's worth giving them a, a little uh, waggle. You can just see they're just trying to move it side to side. You can detect any uh, play in the axles. Pedals are famous for giving you kind of that tick, tick, tick noise as you're climbing, stroke after stroke. Uh, one of the other things that people don't often think about is the uh, mounting screws for the jaws of the pedal. Um, these on this particular type of Shimano pedals, there you go, that needed a fraction of a turn. Similar on that one. And again, there, in fact, they were all three of those were loose. Let's try the other sides because that was. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, really loose, that one. Right, well, that's a good job I checked those, as it happens, because they were all needed a, a bit of a turn on them. Okay, another one that's well worth uh, checking, obviously, is the big boy in here. That's your main crank bolt. On some chain sets, uh, you're adjusting from the uh, chain ring side, and on others, it'll be from the other side to make sure uh, you know where you're going. Pop that in there. Give that a, yeah, you see, they needed a little, tiny little move. They should be pretty much snug right down. Again, that needed a tiny bit of a go. Generally speaking, that won't make too much noise if it was just a fraction off, but again, it's just good practice to make sure that that stays tight. Another area, particularly with this type of seat post, which uses a single bolt all the way through, make sure that that main bolt is tight. Actually, that needed a little bit more in it. So, uh, yeah, certainly, because as you're sitting on that saddle, obviously your weight's going back and forth quite a lot of the time and uh, if that's at all loose, you will end up starting to hear creaking coming from your, from your saddle. Another tip, and again, it's not actually a bolt this time which can cause the trouble, but you can sometimes find that where the uh, saddle rails enter the hull of the saddle, because you're moving around on the saddle quite a lot, the hull wants to move, but the rails don't, and that can cause movement between the rails and the hull at the points where they mount. Sometimes just a couple of drops of oil just inside to run it literally down the uh, rails into the mounting point can just be enough to uh, take it away. Up the bike, you've got stem bolts. They don't want to be massively tight. Certainly helps if they are all evenly tight. While the clamp bolts at the rear of the stem are usually not the cause of noise while you're riding along, it is pretty critical to make sure while you're checking all your bolts on your bike that those are tight. Um, obviously, having the handlebars twist uh, while you're riding, the front wheel going one way and your bars going the other, 
pretty quick way to end up on your face. Other good ideas to check for noise, uh, cables rubbing. Um, many times I've been out riding and I've been listening to a kind of click, click, click noise and when I've actually come around to finding exactly what it is, it's maybe a cable rubbing inside a cable ferrule or cable rubbing on the frame, cables rubbing on each other or even just tapping away. As I say, don't necessarily jump straight into the bottom bracket and the headset. They're easy enough to get at and a dab of grease is all they're going to need really uh, or a tighten up of the cups to, uh, to fix. So really, that's it.